Y'all don't be mad at me. Don't be mad at me. Don't be mad at me. Okay, you guys, I got my nails done. Look at... Usually I've been getting designs and stuff lately, but today I scrolled for so long trying to find a design that I wanted and I just could not settle on anything. So when I get really indecisive, I don't necessarily make a decision. So I absolutely love the color of this Biab. So I have Biab on my, um, well, this is Biab. Girl. <laughs> so I don't know the color that she's, I can ask her, but whatever the Biab gel color is, is what you see. Because all we did was top coat this joint and it's so flawless. She does such an amazing job on them. Like, look how clean, like, are you? Jumping cable kidding me, wow. Absolutely love my nails, they came out amazing. I have no complaints, zero complaints. And yeah, um, I'm kind of going through one of those like funks at the moment to where I'm not really like inspired. Avery like what? Yeah, I'm not really like inspired right now. So I just feel like I need to like get cute, get myself together. So Lord willing, if the Lord graces me to see tomorrow, I won't get myself together. But I'm just gonna spend the rest of the evening just kind of chilling out. I wanna keep on reading my The of God book. There's another book I wanna read. And obviously this is, this is a very important week because yeah, it's Easter week. So yeah, if anything, we should be in the word and doing that, that stuff anyway, so. <laughs> trying to show y'all in the sky and it's good friday oh glory look at that oh my gosh it's good friday for a reason oh wait i gotta get this on my phone wait y'all i'm obsessed with the sky hang on hang on I have about 30 minutes to get myself together because, so Sunny's birthday was um, earlier this month on the 7th and she went on vacation. So if you guys follow Sunny, then you guys should have saw her Miami vlog. She went out of town with her men and they celebrated her birthday. So I have yet to like really be able to celebrate her birthday with her. And this is coming from someone who's not really big on like celebrating a whole lot of stuff. Now mind you, I don't know why I'm like that. I'm, I just am. So there's a lot of things that we are celebrating this uh, these coming months. So like we got, um, I'll be celebrating four years of entrepreneurship in April, <laughs> uh, specifically April 20th um, was the day I quit my job back in 2020. So I've been on my own ever since, glory be to God. So we'll be celebrating that in April. My mom is celebrating 20 years of being a nurse in May. My sister graduates nursing school in May. Um, and then like I said, we have Sunny's birthday. We got Laysa's birthday in May. And my birthday is shortly after, which is in June, but I'm not really counting June right now. You see how I do. So like, there's just a lot we're celebrating within these coming, my, my dad's birthday is in April. So like, there's just a lot happening in these coming months. We're going to Costa Rica in April. Like there's just so much happening in these next few months. So again, I'm not really big on celebrating a whole lot of stuff, but I'm trying to make that change and really get into celebrating just because, you know, there's, life is already hard enough. So when you have accomplishments or when the simplest things come up, like your birthday that happens every single year, it's like, yeah, let's, let's take some time out to celebrate you and, you know, give you that love and shower you with that love. So starting with, <laughs> um, starting with this, so Sunny, um, again, her birthday was the beginning of March and she went out of town. I babysat for her. I had my koopy boy. I miss him. Um, so I was put on by a friend of mine 
of this spa out here and i was like oh sunny like what if we do like a spa day type beat type deal so i told her i said i'm gonna come pick you up at 10 mind you it's 9 16 right now i need to hurry up um but i told her i said i will pick you up at 10 we're gonna go have a nice spa day take friday off it's good friday i said take the friday off we're not doing no work and we're gonna go to the spa and just spend a few hours there and relax and just do whatever we want to do at the spa and then you know and then we'll leave <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do this morning it's been a hectic week but your girl has been moving and grooving this week trying to get a lot done trying to get a lot prepared i'm hyped because i am marking another day off of my daily deposits if you guys follow me on tiktok and instagram i was talking to you guys about my daily deposits and how these are you know it's a thing to keep me accountable so just want to make sure that i'm getting my day off and i'm so excited so okay let me get my daily deposit real quick which i will show y'all it's literally me just ripping this off the wall but i record this every single day consistency get consistent in like little things because it'll make you consistent in bigger things i don't know if y'all can see my little sticky notes right there so i literally just take my phone get my little angle it doesn't have to be perfect i just literally want you to be able to see me ripping the day off but here get the day rip it off <laughs> and that's it i do this every single day we're almost close to knocking off another row well we have almost just one row to go i had two other rows up there it was two other whole rows up there finished y'all when i tell you this was absolutely divine <laughs> we'll be back warm summer nights warm summer nights yes y'all that was so good i tell y'all we was in there for 10 hours that's how you stand on the <laughs> that's how you stand on the business on the business of taking the day okay because oh. girl whoo Honey, phone is on T and Z. Please. Oh God. Oh please. See. <sighs> Thank you, Lord. This was a blessing. Definitely don't take any of this for granted. Ooh. Mm. Mm, I got that cold water in here. I'm saying. Ooh. Hey, it's boy. gonna be so good. You hear that voice, girl? How you doing, honey? Mm. Wait, mine is cold. Oh, it's cold, honey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where my phone at? Oh, God. Oh, please. Oh, God. Oh, God. We didn't oh, go all the way out. Oh, please. Don't need two phones. Can't even keep up with the one. You it's your... in here somewhere. I don't know it is. <laughs> big dookie, big dookie purse hiding from me. Got the gum hiding from me. <laughs> <laughs> what? I ain't that what Twin Puts ever says? Running from me. Running from it. Embarrassing. Hold up. I watch Tropical Smoothie. Wait, but what if, but what if I left it in the kitchen? You break a little Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. mm. Yep. Let me pull you to the frizzion. Cause ain't nothing up in there. Where do you think you left it at? I think I left it on the counter. Okay. They should be able to get it from the get that piece of gum. Breath just feel too hot. <laughs> Grace and peace, everybody. And all is well with all of you. Do y'all see how the sun just be shining proud in here every morning? Nonetheless, but it be, it be shining in here. But it is a little after eight o'clock in the morning. The 
decided to get my morning started by just kind of straightening up yesterday. I was literally gone all day yesterday with the, uh, with the spa. So when I got back home, I ate my dinner, took a shower, and went to bed. But I have run out of groceries, not completely, but just of the necessities that I need like during the week. So I'm just, I'm just cleaning up my refrigerator of things that I didn't get to, things that I don't trust anymore. You know, if something sits long enough, it's like, mm, I would eat it, but I don't trust it no more. So I'm not. So that's kind of where I'm at with some stuff. And then I had some meal prep stuff that I didn't even touch. Well, that I didn't finish eating, so it's like, yeah, because I ended up making other stuff. So it's just some old food I gotta clear out. Because at some point today, I have a wax appointment today, and I wanna go get my feet done because my toes look atrocious. So I'm trying to, well, I'll probably do my grocery shopping after my appointment. My wax appointment is 11.15, and then I'll go to, let's see what time the nail place opens, because if I could get there early in the morning, I thought that would kind of cut it close. Um, yeah, I feel like that would cut it kind of close. So I'm just like, I don't, I don't know now. They don't open, these nails and also open up until 10 o'clock, but I digress. So I'm gonna get these dishes cleaned up so they'll be nice and clean. I'm about to switch out to my other camera because this joint holds no charge, BRB. Oh, grace and peace, you guys. So we have finally made it out of the house. We are going to go get a wax. Then I'm going to go get my feet done because my feet look so bad. <laughs> and what's crazy, they did not look this bad yesterday, but I don't know if it was just in between my foot scrub, being in the jacuzzi, I don't know. But the, the toe that chipped just kept chipping. It just started chipping even more, even more, even more. And I was like, what in the actual? So I just knew it was time for a pedicure. So I'm gonna go get a wax real quick and then I'm gonna get a pedicure. And then Lord willing, after that, I'm gonna go to the grocery store. I've already made me a little list. I'm gonna do some grocery shopping and then just kind of fill my refrigerator back up. Cause I have been eating at home. I've been doing really good, eating a lot of things at home. Wow, how close are you going to get to my bumper? What in the world? Maryland drivers, please. Sorry, y'all. Somebody was getting ready to get the business for me. Um, Yeah, I wanna fill my refrigerator back up. I have been eating at the house. I've been tearing up my groceries. So it is just time for me to re-up on a lot of things. So I'm gonna go do that. Hey, y'all, I'm back. My camera ran out of footage, but I just got here to, oh, I just got here to the wax place. I'm about to walk in in just a little bit. I'm a little early. Like I said, my appointment's at 11.15, but it's 11.07. But the gag is I'm right here at the Fresh Market. With being over here by the wax place, I'm right here at the Fresh Market. So I'm thinking, get my wax, go shop at the Fresh Market, then take that home, and then go get my pedicure. I think that just makes more sense. I'm gonna just go get this wax out the way because I'm starting to overthink it. Let's go. I don't remember exactly what scripture it is, but it was right before he was crucified. Jesus asked God, he was like, can this cup pass from me? Can we do this any other way? So to me, it's like, man, do it. Like, I'm not even gonna get myself stirred up this morning. It's just when I think, it's just when I think about me being scared to do something or me getting anxiety about something, I'm like, Jesus didn't, didn't go to the cross like, yeah, I got it. It's this heavy. Mm -mm -mm. He wasn't excited about that. He wasn't excited to die. He was not excited about that. People were spitting on him and I even read, I didn't even, huh. That's why I kind of don't even like reading that part because it's like when they put them thorns, hold on, Philip. When they put that crown of thorns on his head, and it says they kept hitting his head. You got these things stabbing you in the head? Are you kidding me? That would that would have just enraged me. I would have been fighting. I would have uh, bumped his, like, let's go. I would have been fighting at that point. But he just took it. So it just reminds me, like, Jesus, you, like, just continue to take and take. Like, just take the abuse. Take the beating, take getting ignored, take not being taken seriously, not being believed. Like, so just, just read it back. And this is why it's so good to just read the word all the time because sometimes we can go through life 
and we just do things just because it's routine, just because it sounds good, just because we're used to doing it like this. Well, no, don't ever get too comfortable talking about it. Remind yourself. That's why I love taking communion every first Sunday of the month. Like my pastor always tell us, it was like, don't ever get too, I don't want to say comfortable, but don't ever get too like familiar with this. Like always remind yourself of what happened and why it happened. Always remind yourself. That's why we do this. That's why we have communion. That's why we go through this every single month. Remind yourself of what Jesus did and why he did it and what it means and what it means to us today. Like, so when I just think about all that stuff, I'm just like, wow, like, Lord, please, <laughs> please. So I was reading the word this morning and they approached the tomb and Jesus wasn't there. And I read Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, read all, all four of them. So it's just like, even after doing all that he did, even not even being in the tomb, people still didn't believe it. As I started praying last night, it started thundering and lightning out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. This was, um, let me see, I texted my friend about it. Let me see what time I messaged him. I'm like 10. And then when I read in the word, it says that there was um, like a loud, there was an earthquake. There was like a loud something when he rose, I think. I think it was when he rose. I was like, wow. I'm like, the irony in that is crazy because that actually happened. When I tell you, I was sitting there, listen, I was scrolling for a hot minute. Then I did my Spanish lesson. I was just chilling. And I was like, let me put my phone down and get the word. So I did. And as soon as I started praying about Jesus' resurrection, I mean, a, a crucifixion, started lightning, thunder, out of nowhere. I wish I could make that up. And it started raining. And I was just like, it's a, it's called for clear skies today. And like right now the sun is out. So that's why I'm like, God, you were so intentional. You were so intentional. Like, I don't, I'm not even gonna sit here and be like, I mean, that's just a coincidence. No, cause it could have lightened the thunder at any other time. It did it right then and there. beautiful dress I got from Zara some weeks ago and I was just and I hadn't been able to wear it yet but it worked out perfectly and I think it's so beautiful it's so beautiful and then I just got this little coach bag yesterday how cute and then like look at the, the gold hardware on it it's so cute and dainty I absolutely love it I'm gonna wear this perfume today I'll do my OOTD And good morning, everybody. Praying all is well with all of you. <sighs> it is Tuesday, April the 2nd. How are we in April? I don't know. I woke up this morning and just had like a boost of energy. So you already know we're going to the gym. But as I was expressing earlier in the vlog that I've just been kind of in a funk and I feel like I experience these funks every quarter. <laughs> so this morning, um, well, I slept pretty good last night. I tossed and turned for a little bit. I think it got kind of hot in my room. So I had to, anytime I wake up in the middle of the night to do anything, I feel like it throws my sleep off. But surprisingly, I did have to get up and adjust the temperature in here. But I went right back to sleep and I slept pretty good. So I'm just speaking all the things over me this morning. I'm gonna have an amazing day. I'm gonna get some work done. I'm not gonna be in my head. I'm going to crush my daily deposit today. Yesterday, I'll be honest, I struggled during my workout. I, I did my workout, but I didn't go hard like I usually would do. And sometimes it'd be like that. So if you find yourself not being able to really like 
kill your workout like you want like please don't be hard on yourself just listen to your body and I'm days away from my cycle coming on so I was like mm. I'm not about to stress it anyway because I know how my body gets when my cycle is on and I just feel like the weakest thing in the world and me being able to lift heavy weights and stuff and then you know like you can still lift it but it's not the same can get really discouraging but it's like it's just your body it's just that time of the month give yourself a couple of days don't you know don't be so hard on yourself just work through it so that's what I was doing yesterday at the gym like I said I did my workout but I just didn't go hard like I had wanted to also I've been kind of like in a funk a little bit too when it's come to like vlogging and stuff and I don't know what that is I, I know what it is I know what it is <sighs> I know what it is Jalen I don't even know why you're trying to do a half up half down Put your hair in a bun, get it out the way, cause you about to have a crazy workout today. Like who am I? My watch is charged, my headphones are charged, and my phone is currently charging. Who am I? Like, I'm doing the thing. Okay, got the teeth brushed. Anyway, I usually don't do like a full blown skincare routine in the mornings. I usually just put like some SPF on my face before the gym. And I use the Black Girl sunscreen. Ooh. We are officially in the busiest month um, so far for me. And I have been not avoiding April, but I have just been <sighs> anticipating April because I'm like, all right, I know there's a lot I gotta do this month. And I don't know where the time has gone, but we have to get it moving and a grooving. So it's really no more time to waste. There's really no more time to waste and so forth. So it's kind of ready to get this show on the road, right? Make my bed up somewhat because I slept. You know how you wash a bunch of clothes and then you're like, wow. I mean, they're folded. Like I folded them. I slept right there. And I'm just like, uh-uh. I didn't feel like moving all them clothes and stuff, y'all. I didn't. So... <sighs> but anyway, let me put on my gym clothes and I will be right back. Y'all, When y'all get in a funk, what do y'all do? <laughs> because I get in a funk, I just get in the presence of God and I'll just go sit. You know what I'm saying? I'll just go sit because, yeah, I wanna know what y'all do. When you get like in a funk, you're not necessarily like as motivated. I don't see stuff in a banana, I instantly get turned off. Nope. I can't remember if I'm meeting, having a meeting today. I'm just stuck right now because I'm so cold. I'm freezing right now. One of those like heater things. But anyway, yeah, I just wanted to vent real quick because I will get in these funks and I'll talk about these funks that I get in um, from time to time. But it's just, it's just when I can't necessarily think straight or I feel overwhelmed with all the things that I need to do. So then I like, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> I will go hide from my responsibilities and it's not a good thing. The way I describe the workout, I don't know the proper name for them sometimes. I just know what the workout is. So if something is on there that's not accurate, just just don't just don't mind me. Anyway, so yeah, sometimes I would just get in these like funks and I can't <sighs> I can't snap out of it sometimes. And I tell myself every single time I get in these funks, I tell myself every single time, just keep, just keep recording your content. Just keep going to the gym. Just keep doing the thing. Because sometimes you can just kind of be an autopilot. And that's what I've been doing. I've just been kind of like an autopilot, but I haven't been like creating anything new, which I feel hurts me because now I'm like overthinking. Now I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm not doing you know what my strategy stuff says like so now I'm just like all over the place with trying to figure out what I want to do what I need to do and all of those things and um and God has just been showing up because even in the most random things that I created it'll just translate very well and I'm so grateful for that so I'm trying not to overthink it too too much but also I got things to do <laughs> I got things to do honey so um and I'm really really trying to get back into my gym content but it's hard to film in the gym that I'm in one because there's other people in there and I don't want to record anybody and then two my gym is all glass so you can see the outside of my apartment building you can see 
the name of the apartment building like you can just see a lot and obviously I'm not trying to show that so trying to get angles and stuff like that is a little difficult sometimes so I'm just not feeling as inspired and I'm just I know it's a phase and I've been through this phase a million times throughout my entire career so I'm just trying not to let that get the best of me so I am just trying to still press forward and still show up like I need to um and yeah, I need to do some cleaning. I need to do some resetting. There's been so many ideas that I want to do. Like I want to change my actual office space into like a beauty room. Like have like a little clothing rack in there. Um, have like a vanity situation. So that'll kind of be like where I actually sit and do my makeup and just all these things. And then I still have yet to even touch my reading nook, which I'm kind of happy I haven't because I low key might turn that into like a little prayer nook. Like there's just a thousand things that I want to do. And I just feel like there's so much that I need to do. And that's just the creating side. There's bills, there's things I need to do. I just have so much I feel like I have to do that just, just fills up my brain to where I can't even think. So that's where I'm at. I'm in like a funk. But anyway, as a fitness update, actually I might have to hold off on that thought because I want to bring you guys into like my fit, like where I'm at physically with my fitness journey. Actually, I think I have to hop in on this meeting in about four minutes. I'm going to do that and then I'm going to come back and we're going to get into my fitness goals because I know you guys have seen me post about, thank you Lord, you guys have seen me do my daily deposits every day on Instagram and I want to talk a little bit more about that. So let's get into it. BRB. What's up, you guys? We are making dinner. Okay, I really hope this is good because this is a fresh market meal. Let's try the chicken. Yeah. It's actually pretty good. Grace and peace, everybody. Praying all is well with all of you. It is a new day. It is a new day and it is Wednesday. I'm getting ready to head out in just a minute. Can I tell y'all the weather today? Listen, it's another day that the Lord has made, but good gracious. Y'all, look at my new glasses. How? These joints are so bomb. They are by a brand named Adira, E-D-E-R-A. And I found them just kind of like scrolling through. Um, I found them scrolling through Instagram. So bomb, so fire. And I have another pair um, as well. They're by, I feel like these are a little more popular. Alisa Johnson, that's the name. And they're these white frames, well like off-white. How beautiful, and they have like a nice brownish tint in them not too crazy love them down super excited to wear them now today i'll be honest is not even a day that i should even have these on but it has been raining for the past three days and i've been in the house for the last three days i haven't really went anywhere I haven't really gone anywhere I haven't really done anything i've just been in the house working out working kind of like just you know already in my routine and y'all i'm like okay you know we got me and sunny we're meeting up we got this meeting and yeah i'm just like what in the world but again it is another day that the lord has made so i will rejoice and be glad in it amen um outside of that y'all i have sliced my finger open i was trying to get a spoon out of the um i was trying to get a spoon out of the dishwasher and did not know that biggest knife that i own was in the dishwasher and it was facing where i was grabbing so as i'm reaching i'm like i don't even know what i did did you pee pee but as I'm reaching for it, all I just felt was a sharp pain in my finger. And as soon as I looked, my finger was dripping, dripping blood. My finger was dripping. So I have a boo-boo. But outside of that, y'all, I'm feeling pretty good today. I've been going hard in the gym. Y'all, when I tell you, I can't wait to show y'all what I look like. <laughs> I cannot wait to show y'all what I look like at the end of this month, which is in a few days on the 6th. Yeah, in three days will make a month. And I'm really excited because it's not that I don't look how I wanna look, but I've gained 10 pounds, or you can say I've bulked and put on 10 pounds. But the 10 pounds added to me looks really good. And compared to how I looked before when I was 130, 135, yes, I was ripped, chiseled, and some more things, but I was very tiny. And I didn't realize how tiny I was until I looked back 
at photos and I was like, whoa, I was really small. Not mad at how small I was, but I was very little. So all the times of me talking about, oh, I just wanna be lean again, I wanna be lean again, like, am I still working towards being more lean? Yes, you know, lowering my body fat percentage, yes but also I was very small. And I now that I'm not that small anymore, I don't know if I ever wanna go back to being that small. 130 on me is very little. And I just feel like I look better with more weight on me. So funny, like dealing with body dysmorphia and then back then I hadn't been that small since I was in high school. So I was just like, ooh, I'm never getting bigger. I'm never gaining any more weight. Well, you know, 10 pounds later, I'm over here having a panic attack thinking I've gained all this weight and it's like Jalen. Please, you look good. So, where I'm at now is in a really good place and I didn't even realize I was three days away from it being a whole month. So I made this um, transition video. I made this transition video that I wanna put on, I either wanna put it on TikTok, or I'll probably do Instagram and TikTok. I wanna do Instagram and TikTok and I literally just wanna say, don't underestimate the power of one month or it's crazy what one month can do. And I think I had, let me see what I have on there now. I think I said, it's crazy what one month can do. So I think these next three days, I really just wanna focus on getting some running in. I need to do my sprints every day. Um, I did sprints today and y'all, if you are not a big fan of running and you're trying to like work your way up to running or at least running a long distance, start with sprints. Start with sprints and if, obviously if you wanna run a long distance, yes, get in the group of running and challenging yourself when you get tired. When I tell you sprints, so my thing is I'll start at 6.5 speed and I will every um, every 30 seconds, so it's on and off. So for 30 seconds, I'll run at 6.5, after those 30 seconds, I hop off for 30 seconds and then I bump it up to seven. And I keep doing that all the way until I get to 12.5. So by the last round, I don't know how many rounds that is, but by the time you get to 12.5, you will be tired. You will be so tired. But I just feel like that will help, that'll just help you get in the groove of running for that long or even, I don't know, it'll just be, I don't know, it'll just be, I don't know, it'll just be. <laughs> so yeah, it's just kind of like a pushing yourself type deal, type beat, and yeah, I'm here for it. It's been cool training myself and just interesting to see like me getting gains. Ah, that's so cool. Cause I feel like before what I did was, I guess was like a, um, a cut, like a major cut. So then me putting on 10 more pounds, I'll go through another cut. So now, now I'm getting it. Now I'll actually go through a cut when I'm ready to cut. Um, yeah, I just think it'll, I just think I'll look really, really good. I will see you guys when I get in the car and get situated and yeah, BRB. <laughs> Oh, the little one. That's on there. Probably not. Come on. How fire. <laughs> so fire. So fire. So fire. So fire. These are very, um, love them. Okay, so we are here at Ted's Bulletin, and we are here to try some of their new Items. Ooh, that looks Which amazing. One this one? Which one is this? This one here? Put this on the menu, this is good. <laughs> what? What it smell like? I don't know. <laughs> I keep getting like new whips, like every time the door open, give me a second. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I don't know, we both got some. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. That's why I said in the car, okay, vegetables and fruit. <laughs> I know, I was like, she didn't get the reference. Thank you. Oh, I can actually record as well. Okay, so we're getting ready to try some drinks. So, so far we got our palettes ready. It's a little mocktail they made us. Yeah. That's good. A little bit the of ice cream. cream. Too much of that one. 
Yeah. You don't need two. You're going to be somewhere laid out somewhere. Laid, laid out. Wow. That's good. If you mix it up a little bit, get the, you know, together. This one I would give 8 out of 10. I'm about to say, that's a smooth 8.5. 8.5? That's an 8.5. Next up, next up. Churro? Smoke show. Smoke, Smoke show. show. and peace everybody praying all well with all of you it is a new day um it is not the next day because the last clip we were at ted's bulletin trying their new cocktails and new food items if you guys want a cute review of their food items check out my instagram i did like a little video for them regarding the food but y'all them cocktails the, the cocktails were good so if you like to drink the cocktails were pretty good we literally just took a sip of each one because we were just like because mm, they just wanted us to taste them and see how they were so we had a little sip of each one but my mocktail that pineapple I'm just a crazy fan for um anything pineapple like the actual fruit or just flavor so my mocktail was really good so I'm pretty sure you could always go to the bar and be like hey can I get a pineapple mocktail um even Sunny got a strawberry mocktail but anyway their food items is what I want to talk about their food items were bomb we definitely have our favorite um I would definitely say my favorite if you ever want to go to Ted uh, Ted's bulletin and try out their new items my favorite I would have to say is either the blueberry ricotta pancakes or the chicken and waffles even the um little um so like these cheese balls I don't know if y'all saw them on the table, but they're like in this bed of sauce. They have macaroni and cheese in them. Those are really good. I think they have mushroom in them though. That's what kind of threw me off. Like why do y'all have mushroom in it? It does not need that. Yeah, they had a lot of good items, especially like new items on the menu. I would say if you go to Ted's Bulletin, please try out either the Hong Kong French toast, the ricotta, the blueberry ricotta pancake, or the chicken and waffles. Like in terms of breakfast item. The chicken and waffles goes crazy. Well, I don't know what they put on that chicken, but that chicken was a 10 out of 10. Hong Kong French toast, it has peanut butter. Can I talk today? The Hong Kong French toast has peanut butter through and through. So if you're, if you're not a fan of peanut butter, you won't like it. <laughs> I'm not, I love peanut butter, but I'm, I'm picky. I'm a picky eater. So I like peanut butter separate from things. So you know, some people will have apples and they'll scoop the apple, they'll scoop peanut butter with the apple. I cannot eat apples and peanut butter together. I cannot do it. Now, apple slices, I will throw down a scoop of peanut butter, just licking it off a spoon. I can do that. But combined, I, the last time I did that, I almost threw up. I'm not even exaggerating. Cause my sister, she loves apples and peanut butter together. So she was like, just try it, just try it. I tried it and I gagged so bad. And I said, absolutely, I will never do that again. So I have to eat it separately. So saying all that to say, when it comes to peanut butter, I don't usually eat peanut butter mixed in with things. The last thing I've probably eaten which has been a long time because I haven't had one of those in a while. It's like a Reese's cup, which is like a little chocolate and the peanut butter inside. They had some other like savory items. Like they had some kind of like egg dish. I don't fool with a whole lot of stuff. So me, I'm not like the best food critic because I'm just really picky. Anywho, anywho, I am settling down. It is a new day and I have a couple of things to do for work. And then Sunny and I are gonna run to the grocery store because I wanna pick up a few extra things that I just wanna have throughout the weekend with making food. When I say I've really been on it heavy with eating at home, I just wanna make sure food's in the house because if it is not, I will be so tempted to go out, but I've been doing good. Haven't been eating out, everything has been cooked at home. Been emptying my refrigerator out. Um, I have some chicken breasts in there now. I'm gonna cook, probably when I get back from the grocery store and that'll just be my lunch and dinner through the weekend. Um, so yeah, so this is my sister, BRB. I am in the grocery store picking up some, take these. <laughs> <laughs> uh, about to get a couple of items for grocery. Yeah, I have never seen white asparagus. 
Interesante, interesante, interesante. But I know I need. See, I'm kind of getting into my. I want to chop up my own broccoli bag. Because I'll usually buy it like this, but I'm like, I kind of want to buy like the big ones and then cut them up. What? That's true. I'm gonna say, yeah. Yeah. Mmm. A pineapple. Gotta get some fruit. Oh, I got a whole list. What am I doing? I feel like I live in here. Oh my goodness. How was the gym? Oh, your mom? She's still coming down today? Oh. Mom is so adorable. I didn't even look at it. You ordered your stuff. What you get? you guys i am back home groceries are put up y'all i got me a rotisserie chicken when i tell y'all rotisserie chickens don't even stand a chance they barely make it into the house but i got a rotisserie chicken and i ate about half of that but that's gonna be part of my dinner tonight but anywho i wanted to properly close out the vlog and um yeah i'm not gonna be gone for that much longer again i just needed i needed some time y'all when i get into these funks sometimes it is kind of hard to um it's kind of hard to get out of it but i saw this video that popped up on my for you page on tiktok yesterday and it was this person talking about like there is a spiritual attack amongst a lot of like christian influencers and stuff where you know mind fog is becoming more frequent and Obviously, it, it could just be a tactic from the enemy for us to not be able to tap into our creativeness uh, when it comes to the Lord and the content that he wants us to create and put out into the world. So I just want to speak this over all of my supporters and people who support me and watch me, you know, get into the word, get into the presence of God, because sometimes it'll sneak up on you. And I think maybe that was why I've been in such a funk. But sometimes that joint will sneak up on you. And you don't really realize that's what's happening until you it's been a week and a half and you're like what am i doing <laughs> so i feel like that's what it's been for me i've been in good spirits and just you know in a good headspace but when it comes to or when it has come to work i've just been doing what i needed to do and not the extra stuff and i really enjoy the extra stuff and i'm just like uh, -uh. so we're getting back in the groove of everything and in the gym and all of that stuff so if you guys want more like food content of the things that i'm eating let me know workouts all of that jazz um i'm back to like posting like workout stuff on tiktok so if y'all want to check out any workout stuff i'll post it there that's it as of right now but i will not take super long breaks i'm i'm tired of doing that but again i do try to lean into how i'm feeling and sometimes i just ain't got it so but i appreciate y'all and somebody made a comment was like honey we are starving on youtube I, like that whole reference of being starved is so funny but i appreciate you guys being here nonetheless oh and before we go i know i kind of breeze through the um the spa oh that spa was so amazing obviously i couldn't get a lot of footage in there because they're like no cameras in there whoop -de whoop so obviously i wasn't gonna walk around with my camera vlogging the spa because it's more of like an intimate space there were a lot of couples in there i don't know the spa just really felt like a healing place it was just it was very intentional it was very it was very nice um so if you have the time or the extra funds to spend a day at the spa and I know everyone's not like in the DC area and all that stuff but well this one was actually in Virginia this was in like Alexandria but it was such an amazing experience like I said I want to do something nice for Sunny to actually celebrate her birthday so like I said this month is going to be full of festivities so <sighs> I gotta get ready because there's tons of content there's a lot of things I'm doing for all of my girls that are coming with me to uh, Costa Rica so there's just stuff that I'm doing to prepare for them and then content I want to film for that like there's just stuff so I'm really trying to get out of this funk so I can show up how I need to and how I want to. 
But anyway, I'm rambling. I just wanted to properly close up the vlog and let you know I appreciate you and I love you always. And yeah, so as always, if you're new, I'm Jay. If you're not new, I thank you so much for supporting me with whatever I do here with my channel. I love each and every one of you to know in. And of course, until next time, Lord willing, I will see you guys in my next video. And shout out to the person who said I needed a new intro and outro. I make the simplest intros. I make them in Canva. So something new to look at. <laughs> Embarrassing. Bye, y'all.